Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Tarantula Dan here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to sex a tarantula mold. Um, this is quite an important part of owning teas because obviously you would need to know what your what kind of sex your tea is. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to do guys. I have done this on my previous channel but uh, I will do it on my new one for those who don't already know how to do it. Um, and yeah, basically what you need is obviously a spider mold. I'm going to be doing um, my uh, female Brachypalma Amelia. You need some warm water in like a little bowl or something. Uh, a couple of cocktail sticks. Something with a white background is definitely uh, makes it easier. And a bit of like washing up liquid or something like that. So I just literally give the water a really quick swirl. And add in just a drop of um, of you know washing up liquid you don't want it to um bubble up you just want it to uh you just want to kind of mix it in a bit uh obviously the less bubbles you get the better really you might get a couple but you don't want it to be like you know like foaming so yeah and then you take the malt which as you can see this malt has hardened up and you just put it in the water and leave it to soak uh, it doesn't take long guys. The reason we do this is um, the water will actually soften up the spider and make it easier to um, to kind of m open it up and move it around and whatnot. Um, which we need to do to get a sh um, to get the shot that we need. Now I do know that this spider is a female, but I'm going to just do this just to show you what it is that you're looking for. Hopefully I can actually show you. It'd be a bit crap if I, uh, if I talk about it and then I'm not able to show you. Yeah, so you just leave it in there a little bit. I've got one here as well, which is from my um, Pogletheria pedicini. I don't think I'm going to be able to sex that because the actual abdomen um, down at the bottom here has came away. I know you can't see a lot at the moment, guys. I'm just trying to show you quite a you know, broad area. But when it comes to uh, actually opening up the malt, um, I will get a, a close up of the uh, of the plate. Okay, I think that's uh, that's nearly done now. Definitely um, a bit more kind of flexible and not as stiff. So yeah, let's um, get a close up of the plate, and I'll show you what to do now. Okay, then guys. So this is a a better view of the plate. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to just quickly drain the spider for a second and get some of the some of the water out of it and on it goes and you can see it doesn't really look like a spider at the moment ok so what we're going to do first is just using a, these cocktail sticks start uh, separating the legs and opening it all up I try and get it looking somewhat like what I like what it would naturally although of course that's not important at all it's just just me being a bit fussy really so yeah so that's the the, the spider um, there's the carapace here which we don't really need that to be honest I mean I can always um, Trying to do my fingers, it might be a bit easier. There you go. So there you go, that's basically what the spider looks like. The part that we need guys to do this is the abdomen, which is this part here, between the two back legs, which is where everything is basically kept. And um, what you basically want to do guys, this is why you need co uh, some kind of cocktail sticks, is you just find where the which way it opens, which I've got it that way. And I, I honestly could not have got a better shot. This is a perfect, uh, a perfect mold actually. Just open it all up a bit. I don't really, I don't need anything really past there down. Uh, these white things are called bucklungs. So there you go. So the malt is now, it is open, 
And I can actually see from sitting here, I don't know, a good foot away, I can see that that is female. I don't know whether, whether you can see that on the camera. No, you can't. So I'm going to pause it for a second and readjust the camera and I'll show you what it is that you're looking for. Okay then guys, so here's a look at the spider itself, Ella. Now, if you want to know what it is that we're looking for guys, to see if it's a female, we are looking at this part here. Where's the cocktail stick? There it is. You can see we've got the, the four book lungs here. And if you look just there, we'll get that a little bit closer. That there, that little white line, that's the flap, basically. Which is um, obviously where the, from the other side, where sperm is deposited from the male. And it is actually, if you can see that. It is literally like a flap. So yeah, that's what you're looking for guys. Um, if you open up a tarantula moult and it's flat, then um, that means you've got a male. Most people see that as bad. Um, however, males are just as important as females really, especially if you're a breeder. Obviously you can't breed without them, so. And yeah guys, that is literally what you're looking for. Um, and there's a really, really good shot. I'm actually quite happy that I managed to get that. Sometimes um, when you uh, are trying to sex it uh, a tea and they destroy the malt, you end up with uh, like part of that all, like all comes off and you have to wait till the next malt then unless you can get a ventral shot. Um, I will try and show you how to get a ventral shot on a live spider. Um, I'll probably do that on Zelda when she's next malted because she's the easiest for me to uh, to handle kind of thing or actually my B uh, ABOP as well is also quite good so so yeah guys this is what you are looking for in a female tarantula malt uh, to sex it obviously if you do that and you can see it it's a female if not you've got a male um, I will get a, uh, a malt as well of a male spider which I will show you um, my P Metallica should be malting soon so I'll probably use him as an example so yeah guys, that's a very quick video on how to sex a tarantula malt. Um, there's a lot of people that do these, but I haven't got one on my new channel. And so that's why I've done it. Uh, let me know what you think guys. Uh, leave a comment, like and subscribe. And of course as always guys, um, please like my uh, Facebook page. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash tarantula dan. Uh, you can post your questions and things to me there and I will answer them. As well as getting updates before they hit YouTube as well. So. It's uh, definitely a good place to come and chat. So you guys, cheers for watching, take care, and I will see you soon. Hey guys, uh, just a quick extra on the end of the uh, Rocky Palmer malt. Uh, I did manage to sex this uh, tiny little uh, malt from my peep at SNI. And uh, I don't know if you can see, where's the cockroach it is? Just there, the white line, so yeah. This is also a female. Unfortunately, that is the only part of the abdomen that I actually got from the malt. Um, oops, which kind of sucks, but that is literally all I needed was just to see that little line there. So yeah, guys, that's uh, two females confirmed. Uh, actually, I already knew this one was a female anyway from uh, a couple of months ago, but um, it's always nice to just confirm it. And like I said, just to show you that this one is a female as well. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and I will speak to you soon.